the purpose of having this day is for us to come here as young people to present our issues. As we go into this conversation today, I implore all of you to be as open as possible. If you have an issue, come out and speak about it. Therefore, for all of us here, let us not just take it as a fun, but we take it a learning point. Whatever transpires around here should be used to lead us somewhere. Had Uganda, I would like to address this to you that the teenage pregnancy and early marriage is a big challenge. The second thing is attitude. Because of mindset, your attitude is always negative towards work. The problem we have as youth is that we lost focus. As a person, if you are moving anywhere, the first thing you need to know is where you came from. I want to tell you today, you cannot be youth for life. It is today that you will change your life for the future. Bad foundation, bad future. Therefore, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there are questions here needs to for follow up. My question is like this. Ah, it's like me. I raped a girl and I was arrested and taken to the police. And immediately you might find it sound like a two or three weeks, this person will be released away from the police. What happened? The reason why this delay takes place is because some, many of our parents, they tend to try to negotiate outside police. They want to get animals like cows, like birds, because of the act. They take advantage of the young girls. Uh, if youth don't engage in themselves, so in future when they grown up, is it easy to go and ask love to girl? Our colleague, our friend, has raised a very pertinent issue. If you're 18 and below, you're not supposed to get married. So for you to be able to make a decision, you should be 18 and above. Therefore, I want to ask you, the youth, you're beginning now to be disciplined. Two, change attitude. Three, hard work. Then you will have a brighter future. I'm so glad to be here with today in the Youth Day. And I'm so glad because I have learned a lot of things from here and I learned how to manage gender-based violence. I've learned how to protect myself as a youth. Girls are dropping out from school and my fellow boys thinking that the life of outside is better. But today I've learned that education is the best thing. platform the young people are, are able to speak for themselves and their voices are able to be heard and then they, they come to in, into contact with their leaders and also their leaders are able to account to them. And we encourage that uh, youth should actively involve themselves to know what belongs to them. Especially we want to encourage the, the youth structures uh, who are elected right from the village, the parish and the uh, county to the district to be in the far front in knocking doors, very many doors, in the Sabo County with the development partners like NGOs in the district to know what is there for, uh, for their use. Above all, I want to tell us the young people of Uganda that let us try to work on our mindset. We have this mindset that anything that comes from the government is something that we should chew and run away from. But let us embrace what comes from the government as our own. to thank Richard so much for organizing this. I know this has really helped to change the mind of our youth and it's going to translate into a positive transformation which will result into success. Uh, we hope that such enga engagements will inform the way young people are participating in decision-making spaces and accessing justice when it comes to gender justice and uh, addressing gender-based violence. This will inform a lot of the program we shall do in the coming year under the Generation Gender Program. And as Richard Hand Uganda, this stands out for us because we stand for young people and we stand for working with young people.